Welcome back, welcome back, and if this is your first time, welcome to the AIM Society channel. My name is Cap, and today on Tutorial Tuesday, oh, uh, let me ask you a question. Do you know how to chop? Do you know what chopping is? Let me, uh, let me hit you to some ways to chop in FL Studio. Make sure you subscribe, to stay tuned for all of our future Tutorial Tuesdays and some of our other stuff coming up. Make sure you like, leave comments, suggestions, ask any questions you have. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Let me show you how to chop on FL Studio. You're famous, jaw dropper photography. High popping graphic art. So check it. The two ways that I sample in FL Studio are on the playlist, which is F5 on your keyboard, and SliceX. So I'm going to show you SliceX first, and then I'm going to show you the playlist after. So let's do it. To use SliceX, this is what you're going to do. First, you're going to open your channel pattern. You're going to right click your sampler, replace it with slice X. Now what you'll notice here, this auto dump button is automatically illuminated. What that does is if you drag a sample into this area, it'll auto dump it in your playlist here with whatever automatic chop slice X makes. So if you don't want that to happen, unclick your auto dump. So then find your sample and drag it in to this area here. SliceX automatically chopped it. Those aren't always the chops that you want. And if you have a MIDI keyboard, your middle C will correspond with the first chop on SliceX. So you can go up and down those chops. Right click this auto slicing button and choose large grid slicing. This will slice it up into individual grids or you can right click and select dull auto slicing and this usually will get rid of every slice except for the first one usually but not all the time. So here we have one so that means if you press middle C on your MIDI keyboard it'll play the whole sample. If you want to make your own chops use this add remove marker region button here. So you play your sample, click this every time you want a chop to be made. So now my chops are, and you can move them just by left clicking and dragging. Say you just want these chops, right? You don't want to have to try to play them live performance. Go to this drag copy sample selection button here. Left click and drag it onto your channel. When you go to your channel in the piano roll, each one of your chops is here on your keyboard. So you can either just play them out like this. You can record and just play them on your MIDI keyboard that way. That's how I sample with, the, with Slice X. Now if you do auto dump, let me show you what happens if you do auto dump. Depending on what I choose, this gets populated with each one of those chops. Now if you look close, you can see individual chops here. That's what auto dump does. It dumps your slices directly onto your playlist in the piano roll, just like that. I'll get in depth in another video about how to tweak your samples. This is how I chop in SliceX. So now that I showed you the SliceX, let me show you how I chop on the playlist. The first thing you wanna do, find your sample, drag it onto the playlist. Zoom in so you can see your sample. Choose whatever tempo you want your beat to be. I'm just gonna do 90. Listen to how your sample sounds at that speed. So usually I try to make my sample as close to four measures as I can, like this. And then I tweak it by time stretching with this time right here. If I want the sample to not sound stretched, I'll go through these resampling methods, I guess that's what they are. I'll go through these and choose whichever one sounds best. You tweak this time knob until your sample gets to four bars. Now, what you wanna make sure is that your sample is a four bar sample or four bar loop first, because if you, if you put it at this speed, then when you chop it, you'll have to chop it sort of weird to make it fit. It's on beat now, because I have a four bar loop. I use the time knob to 
sync it up with uh, a four bar measure on the playlist so it fits perfectly. Find where you wanna chop, use the slice tool and cut it. I'm gonna make a loop. So I'm gonna cut right here, get rid of this, and I'm just gonna make a, a simple loop right here. And you can get, you know, you can do whatever you want on here. Just chop it up however you want, make whatever you want, mess around with it. But this is how I chop on the playlist. Take these chops, manipulate them, flip them however you want, add drums, add whatever you want underneath the sample. That's chopping on the playlist. So that was a quick and dirty rundown. Two ways to sample in FL Studio, the playlist, and Slice X. If you have other ways, leave them in the comments below so other people can see what's out there and so I can learn other ways to do it too because I'm always learning too. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Join the Gish crew. Gish, that good-ish? Yeah. Join the Gish crew. Leave comments below. Leave questions below in the, in the comment box below. Make sure you like this video. Share with other people. Keep it and keep it hip-hop oh 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 make sure you watch out for the no seats ep no seats ep presented by the aim society featuring production by me and other aim society producers as well as artists from the aim society it's coming out real soon so make sure you keep your eyes peeled and your ears open for the no seats ep yeah keep it humble and keep it hip-hop